Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. Seb Heslow here, and apparently LHR, the hash rate limiter on NVIDIA GPUs, has already been bypassed, at least partially, uh, according to the latest NB Miner release. So what we're gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you how to use NB Miner with the LHR like limiter bypass feature. And then we're also going to try and see if it actually works. Um, and we're gonna test it on a 3070 Ti, a 3070 LHR version, a 3070 non-LHR version. So we're gonna compare the two. And we're also gonna try it on a 3060 uh, with the sort of version one uh, hash rate limiter. So let's get to it. All right, so those of you who have been following my channel for a while, you know that I have quite the assortment of different flavors of LHR cards. So to start, I have these four 3060s, which are like the version one LHR, the sort of that we used to just call that they're nerfed on Ethereum, like the the sort of a lighter LHR version that came out first, the one that's able to be bypassed by the development drivers. So we're gonna try it on those, but more importantly, we're also going to try it on our matching pair of MSI Supreme 3070s, where one is LHR and one isn't. So we're gonna try it on. Well, we're gonna compare them basically. And then we've also got, we also have the 3070 Ti that was gifted to us by Red Panda Mining. Thank you so much, Red Panda. And so the 3070 Ti is one of the cards that is like natively um, limited by the LHR limiter. There's no versions of the 3070 Ti without LHR. And behind that, we have another 3070, a secret one that I'm not gonna show you yet, but that is a full hash rate 3070 as well. All right, so let's have a look at how to download and set up NB Miner with LHR cards using this new feature. So before we get started, I just wanna say thank you to Omniscient who like brought this whole thing to my attention on the Misfit Mining Discord server. So if you haven't joined the Misfit Mining Discord server yet, I recommend you do. There's even a little specific section there called Chat with Seb where you can talk directly to me and hopefully I'll answer. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's get started. So to download NB Miner, I've got the official NB Miner uh, Bitcoin Talk thread up here. And I would always recommend when you're looking for a miner, try to find the official Bitcoin Talk thread for that miner. That way you'll be you know, more sure that you'll get the like official download links for the miner. And so you can see that here under the download section. So they have a like link straight to their GitHub. So <clears throat> that will bring you here. And we can see here it's the real deal for downloading NB miner. And to download it, you just go to releases here. And here you can see, so you, you want at least the NB minor version 39.0, because that is the version that adds the new LHR mode. So if you want to read through this, you can pause the video here. But basically what it is saying is this feature sort of lets you set a target hash rate in percentage of what the GPU can do. And the default is 68% because what they've found is that the higher you set that target, the like more instable your GPU becomes. So, you know, you could try and set it to 100% and try to get 100% of the hash rate, but most likely your GPU will crash. And what they've found is that 68 is a good number for where most cards seem to be completely stable. And to be fair, that is a good improvement over the 50% that you normally get um, mining Ethereum on a LHR card. And so it's also saying it only works for the ET hash algorithm so far. Um, but those are like the coins that are mainly affected by LHR anyway, so that's totally fine. And yeah. Basically, let's just download this and give this a go. So here is just good practice for how to download a miner on Windows. I'm going to open up Windows Security and I'm going to go into Virus and Threat Protection. 
I'm going to go into manage settings and I'm going to go in here to exclusions and I'm going to click add or remove exclusions. I'm going to add an exclusion. I'm going to add a folder as an exclusion. And then I'm going to make a new folder where I'm going to download NB miner. So you can see I've already downloaded it and tested it out a little bit, but let's say we're doing this for the first time. So let's call this NB miner, right? So I'm just going to make that folder, select it, hit select folder. And now, as you can see here, we've made an exclusion in our Windows security. The reason we do this is because mining software will usually get falsely flagged as malware while it's not malware. Um, of course, you're doing all of this at your own risk, uh, but usually this is what you have to do. So then once that's done, we hit the X button and we go down here on the NB miner GitHub page and we select the NB miner 39.0 um, for Windows and I'm going to right click save link as and I'm going to download that into our new NB miner folder and as you can see that's now downloaded here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click extract all and I'm going to extract all of it into that same folder and here it is. So this is what NB Miner looks like. Now, before we jump into this, I'm just so curious. So let's do a baseline test of the hash rate we'll get on these cards in a different miner. So I'm gonna try T-Rex Miner now. I'm just gonna fire it up with no overclock settings and let's see what hash rates we get mining Ethereum on these LHR cards. All right, so we are up and mining Ethereum with no overclock settings. And as you can see, we're getting a total of 258 and a half, roughly, mega hash a second. We're getting about 38 mega hash on the 3070 Ti. Uh, we're getting f between 51 and 52 on the um, like non-LHR 3070s. We're getting around 27 mega hash on the LHR 3070 and we're getting around 22 mega hash on the 3060s. So actually let's just, let's try it with overclock settings as well. So let me just add that in real quick. So I'm just gonna add it straight in the batch file here. And let's run as administrator. So this is running like without the development driver for the 3060s and the 3060s are on risers, all the GPUs are on risers. We're just trying to get a baseline of what these GPUs can do without the new NB miner hack. And then we'll see what they can do with the NB miner hack. All right, so with overclock settings, we're getting around 305 mega hash uh, on the whole rig, a little bit below. We're getting roughly 43 and a half on the 3070 Ti. We're getting just below 62 on the regular 3070s. We're getting 32 and a half on the LHR 3070 and we're getting 26.23 on our four 3060s. So let's quit this now and let's give NB minor a go, shall we? Right, we're seeing some uh, interesting uh, little bits of text here. It says, wait to make sure GPU is unlocked. Yeah, I mean, right out of the gate, this seems to have worked. Um, we're getting 46.22 mega hash on our 3070 Ti. Uh, we're not seeing any uh, increase on our 3060s though. So our sort of version one LHR cards, it seems to not work for those. Um, we're getting about 50, just below 52 mega hash on our regular non LHR 3070s. And for our LHR 3070, we're getting 36.12 mega hash. So, definitely an increase in hash rate on our two sort of proper LHR parts, the 3070 Ti and the 3070 LHR. Now, bear in mind that those are not overclocked right now, there are no overclocks going on here so let's uh, let's try that shall we okay let's um, let's fire up 
and B minor again with overclock supplied. And let's see what we get. Oh yeah, and there, there we can see LHR mode 68 has been enabled. All right, so we're getting full hash rate on the 3070s at 62 and a bit. That's to be expected because they're not LHR. And let's see what we get on our LHR GPUs. All right, so what we're seeing here is there's no real change for the 3060s, which are the sort of version one LHR limiter. But for our 3070 Ti, we're up to 52.6 mega hash almost, which is basically another 10 mega hash uh, more than what we could get you know, without this LHR mode in NB minor. And as for our LHR 3070, we were getting about 32 and a half mega hash, and now we're getting 42 and a half. So basically another 10 mega hash there as well. All right, so I'm not gonna lie, that is looking pretty promising so far. However, we know that you're not getting paid per hash rate. You're actually getting paid per solved share. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna let this run for about well, a few hours while I go edit this video. And then we're gonna see how many shares per mega hash per hour we solved on those two LHR cards. So usually right now on the Ethereum network, you get around 0 0.84 shares solved per mega hash per hour. So what that means is if you have 100 mega hash, you get around 84 shares solved per hour, basically, right? So let's see if we get the same sort of amount of shares per mega hash per hour as that, then we know that this is legit and it is actually giving you a higher hash rate. However, if it is significantly lower than that, then we know that this is just kind of displaying a higher hash rate, but it is not actually hashing at that higher rate. So let's time travel to the future where it's been a few hours and let's see what we get. All right guys, so moment of truth is here. We've got 191 shares in about two hours and 34 minutes with 96 mega hash. So let's do some math real quick. So we have 191 shares divided by two hours and 34 minutes so that is 154 minutes divided by 96 mega hash times 60 minutes in an hour hmm inconclusive i should call it all right all right guys so i did some math here so let's look at the first row here so that will calculate our shares per mega hash per hour which is at 0 0.78 roughly and so like doing the math on my other rigs what i would usually get is 0 0.84 like shares per hour per mega hash so i figure well let's do this calculation backwards using 0 0.84 mega hash using the non uh, like LHR fixed hash rates to see so sort of calculate well if if this doesn't do anything and it just displays a different hash rate and we're still getting that like 76 mega hash on these two cards rather than the sort of 96 that it's displaying how many shares should we have solved in two hours and 35 minutes so that is what I have here so we have 0 0.84 shares solved per mega hash per hour divided by 60 to get per minute then times that by the hash rate of 76 which is what these two LHR cards get without the LHR fix and then times that by 154 and that would give us 164 shares 
And so if you didn't follow along with that, then don't worry. Basically, what this math says is that this is working because we are currently at like almost 30 more shares than we should have been like without this uh, LHR fix. Or rather we are at about 17% more shares than we should have been. Which makes sense because we are unlocking the hash rate by another 18%. So 18, 17, it's, it's roughly the same. So I am happy to announce that this NB minor LHR hash rate unlocker works. And also just because I know you guys are gonna be curious just like I am. Let's see what happens if we try to reach 100% of the hash rate. So I've just typed in dash LHR 100 into the uh, batch file here. So let's just save that. And let's run this and see what happens. Right, so we start out with about 50 mega hash on the 3070 Ti and 33 on the 3070 LHR. Now I know I said earlier that the higher number you put for the LHR like unlocker, the more likely your GPU is to crash, but that was actually wrong. Um, what does happen is the higher you set it, the more likely it is to sort of um, for the sort of LHR limiter to kick back in and kick you back down to the standard LHR. So as we can see here, that's kind of happening in real time. We got uh, down from 50 to 43 mega hash on the 3070 Ti there. And our 3070 LHR is stuck at 33 mega hash basically. So yeah, I mean 43.28 is fine on the 3070 Ti, but not not really the, the, the full unlock that you could hope for, huh? <laughs> All right, guys, it seems like this actually does work, which is amazing news, and it's kind of encouraging for the future as well. Like, if they're already able to bypass the limiter by about 18, 20%, then just who knows what they'll be able to do in the future. And so I'm just gonna end the video there. Please, if this has been helpful, then give the video one of these. I'd really appreciate that. And what you gotta do now is you gotta click on one of those videos on the screen, because this video is over. You can also click the picture on my face to subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. But yeah, go click on that next video and I'll see you there. Goodbye.